I had won the fight with the dogs, and this is how I was able to develop a rice farming system using ducks. It's called duck rice. Taco has managed to create a symbiosis between various species of plants and animals in his rice paddies. The ducks have a dual role. They feed on insects and weeds, and their droppings enrich the soil. Their decomposing excrement promotes the development of plankton, which in turn feed the fish. Taco has found that an aquatic plant, the azola, provided a natural and very important supply of nitrogen, an essential element to strong rice plant growth. Thus, the rice paddies can provide their own maintenance and protection without any chemicals whatsoever. This method also solves a major problem that threatens the Asian rice paddies, the Argentinian snail. It was mistakenly thought that they could be marketed to supplement farmers' incomes. These are giant snail eggs. You can see them here and here and there. They feed on rice and on plants. They do major damage in all the irrigated rice paddies of Asia. They originate from La Plata in Argentina. There they have natural predators, but not here. So they just multiply and multiply again. It's a calamity for the rice. They eat it. But ducks love to eat snails. They're edible. I too have eaten some, but they're not very good. On the other hand, when the ducks eat them, their meat becomes delicious. Son! Son! Go! Go get the ducks! Taco Furuno's technique attracted the attention of scientists, and a professor at Kyushu University asked him to write a thesis on his method. After a year of work, performed in addition to his daily chores, he obtained a doctorate's degree. Thirty years of biological farming. I never imagined it would get me a doctorate. I think it's my duty to pass on what I know. But thanks to the ducks, I think it happens spontaneously. My method of production is very important to me and my family, but also for everybody. I would like to share my ideas and my technique with a large number of people in order to develop it. It's a bit in the spirit of sharing. Taco regularly welcomes students from around the world. He shows them his rice paddies and accepts trainees to advise them on how to successfully implement the proper duck rice farming method. Papasar is a Senegalese student. To supplement his agricultural studies, he comes to learn from the Japanese farmer's experience. À travers euh, des rencontres, certains paysans, en écrivant des livres. Parce que quand on écrit un livre, tout le monde peut avoir accès à ce livre. Donc en lisant sa technique, on peut comprendre et on peut aussi euh, reproduire la même technique. Actuellement, au niveau, euh, dans le monde, le plus important, c'est que les grands agriculteurs ont déjà les moyens et ils continuent de s'enrichir. Mais il faudrait penser aussi aux petits exploitants. Comment faire pour que ces gens-là augmentent leur production Et c'est cette technique que Takao utilise. Euh, je pense qu'il faudrait mieux de le transmettre à ces petits exploitants 
qui ont des petites parcelles de terre euh, où vraiment la production est un peu basse. Mais en faisant la culture biologique, ces gens-là pourraient quand même un jour parvenir à faire des rendements très intéressants et à devenir indépendants. Inspired by the way ecosystems work, Taco solved many problems common to smallhold farmers around the world. He can feed healthy products to his family. He managed to diversify his production and therefore his revenues. But more importantly, he managed to protect his crops and to increase their yield while preserving the environment. When you look at all the ducks in the rice paddies, it's really marvelous. It gives you a sense of tranquility and peace. My role is to feed the ducks. And then later on, it's the ducks who feed me. All in all, it can be considered a rather fair exchange. Taco took care of his ducks and rice paddies throughout the summer. And now, in late September, it's harvest time. He must first remove the last remaining duck families from the paddies. Although the majority of these ducks will be sent to market, some will be kept to breed the next generation, and a lucky few will be returned to the wild. <laughs> Taco's revenues have enabled him to invest in agricultural machinery that facilitates his work. Although duck rice is based on a traditional method, Taco Furuno is a modern farmer. Once harvested, the rice is mechanically hulled and sorted in the farmyard. Taco and his family are now financially independent. The duck rice harvest is sold almost exclusively via the internet, and his order book is always filled before harvest time. The Furuno family keeps only a few kilos of duck rice for their personal use and for passing customers. Japanese agriculture is now going green. More and more consumers are willing to pay a little more for their rice if they're convinced it's a healthy product. It's a growing trend in agricultural cooperatives, such as the one of the Fukuoka district. In reality, there is another factor that drives farmers to limit the use of chemicals. They're getting more and more expensive. Yet in Japan, Taco's method, even though more economical, is still regarded with a certain skepticism. Hi, so sweet. I am very familiar with Mr. Furunol's duck farming techniques. I think that this type of agriculture is very good for nature. And it's true that it is also an excellent form of agriculture, very effective. Although, I must say that it requires a lot of work. It's very difficult to implement and to maintain. I don't think that duck rice farming is difficult. It's just a different cultural practice. If you want to use chemicals exclusively, it's not difficult to be a farmer. Anyone can do it. Just follow the instructions written on the package. It's true that duck rice method is more demanding because we need to monitor both the rice and the ducks. With modern technology, you just go to the rice paddy just once a day. With duck rice, you go there at least three times a day, but you go with a smile. Here, farmers believe that it is difficult to care for animals, yet it is not difficult because all I have to do is release the ducks in the rice paddy and let them eat the weeds and the insects. The farm's income is about 150,000 euros per year. This enables Taco to support his family and pay for his children's education. Taco's fame has not gone to his head, and he continues to be amused by it. A clever businessman, he's even marketed a derivative duck rice product that is very much in demand with consumers. Hey. So, is my duck sake selling well? You see, it says here, one duck, a thousand treasures. 